video. It can be wonderfully engaging and an effective way to communicate ideas, but coming up with ideas for how to use video can be challenging. Are you wondering how you might use video for teaching and learning? Let's take a look at some models and frameworks that might help you conceptualize video use in your courses. Some faculty like to think about their courses in terms of learning supports, learning activities, and learning resources, as is done in the critical elements of the learning design model. If this makes sense to your way of thinking, then you might consider creating a mini video lecture as a learning resource or an interactive video assignment as a learning activity or perhaps a weekly video announcement as a learning support. What other video content might you or your students create for learning resources, learning activities, or learning supports? Pause the video now and jot down a few of your ideas. Maybe you'd rather think of your course in terms of Gagney's nine events of instruction. For example, you might record a video of you telling the students the assignment objectives, or even record a screencast of you grading a student assignment to provide feedback. In what other ways might you conceptualize how to use video with this model? How would you use video to gain attention, for example? Pause the video now and jot down a few ideas. The Community of Inquiry framework is quite popular with online teachers because it emphasizes the interactions among the faculty, students, and content that help a student learn. In this framework, you might create an interactive video in which you and your students can participate in introductions discussions to increase social presence, or create video feedback to the group to increase teaching presence or perhaps create a video blog of summaries that your students could do to support cognitive presence. What maze might you use the Community of Inquiry framework to help you conceptualize how to use video in your courses. Pause the video now and jot down a few of your ideas. Another popular design model is Chickering and Ehrman's Seven Principles Technology as Lever. Using this model, you try to find ways to support um, to use video to support any of the seven principles. For example, you might create an interactive video assignment to, to support active learning or record a week in review video that provides feedback on key concept the group seems to have misunderstood. What other ideas can you generate using this model to think about video use in your courses? Pause the video now and jot down a few ideas. Thank you for your attention. If you'd like to read a bit more about the frameworks and models mentioned in this brief video presentation, you can read about them at the links included on this slide.